Hey, 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 y'all. So I am back with a, another video and I decided since I didn't do Vlogmas and I hadn't been keeping up with my videos that I would release some footage that I filmed earlier this year. So uh, every day over the next couple of days, I'm going to be releasing a vlog or a video that I filmed earlier this year. So if I'm talking about things that happened in like March or May or whatever, forgive me, but um, I figured I'd film this get ready with me. I started with my Gucci primer and then I'm layering on my Rimmel Stay Matte primer because this was in the summertime and I knew I was going to be outside and I have oily skin and I live in Texas. So you mix all that together and you know, it can be a recipe for super oily skin. So I thought I'd just, you know, do a voiceover on this and um, let you know about the videos. It's going to be my own form of Vlogmas. And um, I'm looking really, really tired in this video because the night before I actually found out that um, the only video footage that I had from my father had... Um, Basically, I lost, right? Um, it was somewhere someone sold a video camera by accident. It's a long story. So I was not in a talking mood, but I still wanted to film this Get Ready With Me. I'm doing a powder foundation routine. So basically, I'm doing my concealer right now. And I'm basically using um, my Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer with a little bit of Pat McGrath on top. So smooth. These two colors together are like the perfect skin tone match for me. So I wasn't necessarily looking to brighten significantly. I'll do that with my powder, just wanting to smooth out my skin tone. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm excited about releasing these videos. Some of them have commentary, some of them don't. And uh, I figure while everybody else is ending Vlogmas, I will release my videos. So um, I also just wanted to say that, um, listen, those of you that still watch, even though I've been super consistent, I really, really appreciate you. But I realized that I really enjoy watching other people's videos. I love longer videos. I love vlogs. I'm using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Powder. Um, I love, love, love this powder. I think I'm in the shade eight neutral one. I think that's my shade. And so I'm just going to be using a foundation brush to apply this because like I said, this was in the summertime and I wasn't trying to wear a whole lot of liquid foundation out in 110 degree weather. But yeah, so I was like, you know what, this is what I'll do. It's not vlogmas. I haven't been consistent. But you know, a lot of people will be ending on the 25th. And so I was like, you know what, I want to get these videos out. I filmed them. I might as well edit them and put them up. So that's that. The second thing is, is um, in my description box for all of these videos, I am going to be putting an interest list, uh, a link to an interest list page for those of you who, um, if you really enjoyed the girl talk that I used to do with Patricia, I have been toying with an idea of a lifestyle membership for some time now okay by the way i'm just adding my s uh, no this is my laura mercier um setting powder this is what i'm using for brightening to set that concealer and now that i've already added the powder so that's what's going on here and then this um brush is from bk beauty and i'll link what i'm using below right so if i'm putting on makeup in a video or a vlog I will have it linked in the description box if you're curious. But anyway, I have been toying with the idea of a membership actually for a couple of years now. Not a YouTube membership, but an actual membership with um, videos and content and um, activities and connectivity. Not a coaching program, not a course per se, but really, really wanting to kind of take some of the topics that we were talking about in Girl Talk, some things that I used to talk about on my Find Your Flavor series, and really go deeper with those. I have a private space to talk when I can't always get to YouTube because I realize I'm in a couple of memberships that are like that, and I really, really enjoy them. Um, it's a place for me to connect with those coaches or those 
experts on a deeper level, you know, it's deeper content than what, you know, they're putting out on their YouTube channel is not just for entertainment. And I can engage with them. And I was like, yeah, I really, and I can engage with the other people that are in the membership. And it's not on social media, it's offline. I'm, this is just me putting on some bronzer. This is my LYS, um, no limits, matte bronzer in worthy. And so, um, I think I was listening to a podcast as, or like a webinar or something while I was doing this. So anyway, but yeah, I am going to put up an interest list for those of you who are interested and it's not like a full on like, you know, description. I'm probably just going to put on there like what the membership is going to be about, how it's going to work. This is my hourglass um, palette. This is the deep one. I love using the middle shade underneath my eyes. It's, it's just this hourglass palette. It is so smoothing on the skin. And I actually like this one better than the holiday one that I purchased, which I never did a video on. I still have it, but I don't love it. It's a little too shimmery for me. Anyway, so back to the membership. So yeah, so I just to gauge interest, you know, to share a little bit of information about it what it's going to look like, kind of what's going to be involved in the membership. And if you're curious about it or it's something that you will be interested in, then you can enter your information on the interest list. And um, when the membership is ready to go, you know, if you want to participate in that, then you will be the first to know. So I'm going to be having that in all of my videos over the next, I think I have 10 or 11 videos to edit, maybe nine <laughs> over the next couple of days, but it'll take us right to the end of the year. And also... I am going to be starting a podcast. I've talked about this. I've mentioned it 50, 11 times. But one of the things that I'm realizing, because I'm off right now, I'm kind of chilling, you know, easing into the new year, is there are things that I've been wanting to do for years. And I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off because, you know, it's, it wasn't 100% what I wanted. And, you know, there's nothing special about January 1st. But one of the things I've told myself in the past couple of months is perfectionism is a form of self-sabotage. And so I just have decided to not sabotage myself in that way. So I'm just filling in my eyebrows with this Milani eyebrow pencil. Y'all, let me tell you, I cannot find this in store. I only can find it online. I have recently tried those skinny brow pencils. Don't love them. Tried one, I think, from Juvia's Place. I think I tried another drugstore one. Not in love with it. So um, I went on Amazon and I ordered like four of these. They're soft enough, but not too waxy, but not too stiff. I found that the the skinny eyebrow pencils were pulling my eyebrow hairs out. And if you saw when I started, I don't have a ton of eyebrow hair. So Anyway, that is what's going on with that. So I'll also put information about um, my upcoming podcast. I'm so excited. I'm just putting on a little bit of Merit Brow Gel um, that they had sent me a while ago. I'm currently using the Kosas Brow Gel and I like it. It's fine. Um, I like using a tinted brow gel because like I said, I have very sparse eyebrows and I have to draw them on substantially and I feel like a brow gel really highlights the hairs that I have and makes them look as natural as they can be with them being drawn on. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm really, really excited about the podcast and the membership and um, just wanting to share the the knowledge, the life experience that I have shared with my chef coaching clients, you know, for the past four or five years, I've been sharing with them this lifestyle, self-care, intentional living curriculum, along with the business curriculum that I teach them. And I decided that that probably wasn't the best place for that because they already had so much business curriculum. But I didn't want this curriculum to go to waste because I've gotten really, really good feedback from my clients about that curriculum and how um, beneficial it has been to them. And I was like, where is a where is a place where I could share this 
with others that would be interested, that could benefit, that aren't necessarily chefs, that aren't signing into, you know, my high level, high touch coaching program. So I was just using a little bit of concealer uh, to carve out my brows. I still do that. I, you know, a lot of people I know, you know, think that that trend is over. I think if you don't do it well, um, and it's obvious that you've carved out your brows, I think that's when it looks bad, you know, when it's, you know, still the halo brow. But I feel like if you blend it out pretty well, it's a great um, tip to really clean up the eyebrows when you need, you know, to shape your brows or, you know, if you're trying to work on the shape. My eyebrows are cousins. (laughs) They're not even sisters. But yeah, I still I still enjoy it. And this is the thing about makeup. This is why. I, um, I love, it's like, there are no rules, like whatever works for you, what you enjoy, no matter what's trendy, no matter what's in style or, um, you know, the hot thing right now, you know, you know, I've never been into super heavy makeup, even when that is the thing, like, you know, lashes are very popular and they're beautiful when done right. And lashes aren't my thing because, I just, one, I haven't learned how to do it. And it's one less thing that I have to do in my makeup routine. You know, I've never been a super hardcore, you can see my contour um, or or bronzer. You know, I also, and I haven't really been a fan of like um, makeup techniques that came from the drag community because I feel like a lot of those techniques were re- are really great for trying to mimic more feminine features. And I feel like if you already have some of those features, you don't necessarily need to use some of those techniques. So listen, you make your own rules when it comes to makeup. And, and that's what I love. So um, that's why I don't do tutorials because what works for me may not work for somebody else. But I, I love talking about products. I love makeup. It's just a, a wonderful hobby of mine. And I think I'm going to I think I have one more get ready with me that I'm going to be sharing. Oh, and I'm using the Natasha Denona bronze eyeshadow palette in this video. And uh, again, it's just going to be a variation on a neutral eye. But I'm pretty sure you saw from the thumbnail that this is going to kind of be like a fuchsia pinky kind of um, cheek and lip look. So with that being said, uh, let us talk about. So yeah, I've got several vlogs coming. Um, you're the what you're watching is me filming in my apartment. I have since moved, so you will see a empty apartment tour, and I believe a moving vlog. And I know sometimes, like you know, these voiceovers are not everybody's favorite. But listen, if you're into it. Uh, I'm into it. So I'm just using, I use kind of like a soft peach color in the crease. And then I'm coming back with kind of like this burnt orange terracotta color in the crease. Um, Definitely giving a very warm eye. I like that look. I enjoy that. I like a really soft look. So a lot of times people are like, oh, you know, the colors aren't pigmented enough or they're not this. I think it's really about personal preference. I, I really like a softer eye look a lot of times, you know, versus like, wow, that's orange or that's red or that's yellow. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. If you like that, you know what I'm saying? Then you can rock with me. I think I'm adding in a dark brown on my outer corners, kind of one of my like signature moves that I do all the time. Not original to me, obviously. (laughs) Uh, But I just love, you know, a little smoke on the outer corner. But yeah, let's see what else I want to talk about. A lot of you, I won't say a lot of you, but a couple of people have reached out to me and reached out to Patricia, aka Goss Design, about like, when are we bringing girls talk back? And I will say this, you know, we're headed into 2023 and Girl Talk is something that we started in 2020 because everybody was at home and we loved it. And since that time, a lot has changed. You know, Patricia is a mother. We've had lots of life transitions. Both of our careers are 
um, full. And so the time that we do get to spend together as friends, we spend it as friends first over content creation. Like I, I went to her um, shower for her second pregnancy or her second child and we were like oh my gosh it would be so great if we could do a live together we were like we just want to talk and hang and be friends so you know it's been a couple of years it's not to say they will never do it but I just don't think that's going to be a, be a reoccurring series you know even her and I the way we communicate is we send a thousand and one voice notes back and forth it's so funny because life is just set up that way and so you know with my life changing the way it has and her life changing and becoming a mom and all that kind of stuff or whatever to sit down and have, you know, hours of time to dedicate to, you know, an hour, two hour live stream. We don't see that in the, (laughs) in the upcoming future. And what's funny is what y'all didn't know is that we would have like an hour long, friend conversation before the live and then get off the live and then talk for another two hours. Um, So I'm using this Sephora shadow stick, um, like in a matte dark brown as like a really, really soft liner today. So some days I like, you know, a very distinctive liquid black liner. Some days I like a soft brown liner, even on dark skin, you know, I I know a lot of times we don't see that, but I really, really like the effects of that. So going in with a little bit of Estee Lauder, um, little black eyeshadow primer. I mean, not eyeshadow, eyelash primer. Um, just because like I said, I'm not a lash girl, definitely more so a mascara and primer girl, but yeah, we used to have the longest conversations before and after the live stream. And so we were like, girl, we just don't have five, six hours <laughs> to be chatting like that on the live, but I'm so happy that the replays are there, but that's also why I wanted to create the membership, you know, not just based on that. I've actually been having an idea about the membership, like even before we did the lives, like if you ever went back in my notes, the idea for sharing about find your flavor and all that kind of stuff and like curating your life happened before girl time. But I think with both Patricia talking about designing your life and me talking about curating a life that you crave, it just, that's, you know, that's one of the things we have in common. So I'm using this Juvia's Place blush that as I'm watching this replay, I forgot that I had. And y'all, I love to cocktail a blush. So I'm putting the orange on and you can't really see the orange, but then I'm following it up with the berry that's in the palette. And it just kind of gives this like soft ombre cheek. Now I love blush. You may not like this much blush. I love blush. I love matte blushes. I love glowy blushes. I don't like highlighters though. Well, let me say this. It's not that I don't like highlighters. I don't wear highlighters. Most highlighters are too light for my skin tone and I have oily skin. And so I'm like, I don't need the extra shine, right? Like I don't need the extra glistening. Um, And so I will say that I have like one or two that are probably meant to be blushes that act like high dollars for me. And I, and I love those when I'm in the mood for that. So I'm using my little NARS Climax Extreme Mascara. I had a little sample of this. Really, really liked it. I think in one of the videos that you're going to see coming up, I, I was newer in using it. And I was like, it's okay. But you know, I ended up really liking it because I've tried some mascaras since then. And I've really been thinking about this one. I also just bought another new mascara um, in the Sephora sale. So I'll be, I might be doing a haul for that. So that, that may push us to 10 or 11, maybe even 12 videos. So listen, I hope y'all enjoy. Listen, I know I'm talking a lot, but yeah, so I'm going to be linking to the, um, the interest list for the membership down below. I am going to be sharing details about the podcast. Um, Hopefully you will turn on your notifications and enjoy the few videos that I'm going to be releasing this year. And I also kind of wanted to release them because I was just kind of like, you know, it's a video log for me. I I like going back and looking at my old vlogs because we don't remember every single day of our lives. And so it's nice for me to look back on these occasions. So, you know, they may not be 
the world's most perfect vlogs, but um, I still hope you enjoy them nonetheless. I'm using a little bit of the Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water Mascara because I have it. I will say this has been a very popular mascara this year. I don't love it. And I think it's because it's not super black. And for me and my deeply wonderful, melanated, rich skin tone, I need the mascara to be black. Okay. I need it to be black, black. Okay. One thing about me, I'm a blend until my life depends on it. Also, um, I, it's not super black. And then I also like mascara that is volumizing and lengthening because my eyelashes are very curly. You know, some people have very straight eyelashes. That is not my issue. I need my eyelashes to be separated. I need them to be thickened and I need them to be lengthened. Um, so for a lip color, I'm going in with Pat McGrath's Lip Divinals. And this is in Belle Amour, I believe. Very pinky, purpley, definitely uh, has to be deepened up with a liner, which you'll see me do here. Also, here's the thing. Speaking of curating your life, one of the things that I've realized about myself probably in the past year plus is I am a tinted lip balm kind of girl. It doesn't mean I won't ever wear a matte lip or a regular cream lipstick or a gloss, but if I had to rank them it would be something like this kind of this like sheer wash of color tinted balm you know I have several from Pat McGrath I have some from Chanel I have some from Gucci I think I have some drugstore ones that's the look y'all I think I'm gonna come back with with my hair ready to go but anyway um that's the kind of stuff I'm gonna be sharing in the membership so Here's the final look. I hope that y'all enjoy it and I will see you in my next video. Peace.